welcome back to the channel um we've got uh, a review today uh, i've done this review twice already actually but the sound was uh, very crackly on it as lynn pointed out um she was very kind though and said it just sounded a bit funny uh it sounded dreadful uh it was wasn't watchable at all so i've done it again had the crackly sound again this is the third time now and I've uh, plugged in my, uh, for want of a better word, my professional microphone. It's uh, as about as professional as it will get, really. Um, but there we go. So, uh, what are we reviewing today? Well, we're going to be looking at the MiG 21R. Now, uh, let me just show you the box if i can because i've uh, took the lid off the bottom so oh <laughs> i got it all ready to go and then forgot that uh, we normally have a look at the box first so that's the box art it's a mig 21 r profi pack by edward 148 scale the kit number is 8238 um, we'll have a proper look uh, when I get through to the end at the side, um, but to be honest, it's just generally uh, schemes um, one side, schemes on down there, um, and that's it. So this kit was uh, this kit was given to me as a, a Christmas present from um, someone who shall remain nameless now um, and let's let's get straight into it so um, the MiG-21 um, lovely uh, fighter jet from the cold I think it's from the Cold War era um, not in entirely sure but it's that that sort of time and they're, they're they're used all over the world actually uh russia cuba um i say russia i mean i assume russia because they're they're from there but uh let, let's just get on with it I, I basically don't know very much about the mig 21 um i did have a load of facts in my previous video that i'd uh sorted out but unfortunately I've lost all of them, so um, <laughs> they'll have to go without this time, I'm afraid. Uh, I could, of course, uh, research them again and find them, but I'm about to build this. Um, I'm not likely to get one again, uh, so I really need to do this review now so that I can start building it. Uh, there is a buddy build on. Um, unfortunately I'm not allowed to uh, be in that one now um, so I'm doing it on my own so here we go uh, we've got the call out there the sprues the paints uh, Accuous and Mr. Colour as usual so here we have uh, what's that cockpit going yeah cockpit going together uh looks like a turbine and a burner can at the back um firewall uh interior detailing uh two fuselage halves and the firewalls going in there front nose cone rear engine at the rear uh, rear fin stabilizer whatever it's called um and then we've got uh, air brakes there in red um, for open air brakes only. So, I mean, I'm skimming through this really quick, I know. But uh, there's there's no reason for me to hang around on these because nearly everyone that's uh, going to be watching this knows what all this looks like. Um so there's no no real need for me to pour over all the details uh it's only really if you're new to modeling that uh, it would be a good idea to for, for for you to see all this which is basically just what i'm doing i can't see anything i mean all your pe's denoted here 
um, that you get with the kit it tells you where to put that any resin you get with it it tells you where to put that um, it tells you what you need to do to make it a different type you know cut cut the wings off here and put three wheels on there and you've got a giant roller skate something like that um, and there, there we go so you know all your paraphernalia and your rockets and that are going on underneath um, yeah you load out your rockets so there's I mean it comes with a whole ton of um, uh, rockets and, and stuff like that so there'll be plenty left over for your uh, your extras draw so to speak and then there's all your missiles how uh, they're built up very simple and there's your finished one of your finished color options um, that's one of them I can't seem to find the one in the middle but it's a beautiful um, Am I trying to turn a page where there is no... Yeah, huh. Trying to turn a page and there is no extra page. We've got the near metal, bare metal finish. Um, not too keen on this one. Uh, but there you go. Each their own. My favourite by far is this Cuban one here. That's the one I'm going to do. Um, yeah, that's the one I'm going to do for sure and that's about it and then we've got all these stencils that have got to go on the back that's going to be an absolute nightmare i don't know if i can zoom in uh, we saw a zoom in on that a bit of a nightmare as you can see so we'll pop that there uh, we get a set of masks with it a uh, set of window masks for the cockpit and then we've got our photo etch. So we've got a few little uh, photo etch pieces here. Not exactly sure what they're going to be for, but um, there they are. And that could do. We're going up now. Uh, hopefully the video won't drop out. But the wire is very... Let's turn the brightness up a bit. There we go. We've got a bit... bit we don't want to... Uh... So there we go. That's our little bit of photo etch. Thumb and fingernail in there for scale. So you can get an idea. And then we've got, so you know, all our regular cockpit type stuff that you get with Profi Packs. Again, fingers in shot for reference and there you got your uh different types of uh control panel depending on how you want to do them or you can just have the bare plastic if you desire then we've got our decals anybody that watches or follows my channel will know that decals are so they make or break a kit for me i love I love a nice decal sheet, um, a colourful one, the big colourful ones you get with all the, yeah, I love them, they're great. Um, this one's, uh, he, this one's, this one's quite nice actually. We've got a nice range of colours across there. Um, and they're glossy. We've got this, uh, is that like, it's like an indigo type finish on the um, panels there. Yeah, and then, uh, yes, yeah, some excellent stuff there. So uh, I'm just going to pop that there a minute for you to peruse. If you want to pause it and just look at that, then that's fine. I think I've got everything in. That's that one. And then beneath that, we have all the stencils that have got to go on now. Uh, Oh, I thought it was in the bag. It's not. I don't know whether I'm looking forward to these or not. Um, I've never had a sheet like this. Um, but basically, it uh, looks to be a bit of a nightmare. If 
finger or thumb for scale. Oh, sorry. Got a bit of red paint on there. Should have washed that off before I uh, came on. Don't like having dirty hands when I'm on the camera. Well, I don't like having dirty hands full stop, but when you're uh, filming, it's not uh, not brilliant. So, that's them. Excellent. Then we come to the plastic. Oh, we got the clear one first. Uh, Take this out of its packet. I don't normally like to handle these too much because they, they get damaged very easily. Even just rubbing on, on plastic all the time. But um, they seem okay. Um, th although they're not brilliant. In fact that one there is downright dreadful. Um, uh, uh, well we've got this done in I've got nothing I can put under it with a bit of writing on uh, if you can see that one there is uh, and the reason it's not locking in is because Let's get it sharp. It is actually a horrible, misty, not very good at all. Uh, the rest of them are scuffed. Um, they've, I don't, yeah, they're scuffed. Um, I don't know if you can see it, especially on the arch way of each piece. trying to demonstrate that's not easy um, oh there's one falling off you need to put these back in the bag now my theory on this one is quite simple I don't think Edward used these bags here um, so my guess is it came in a separate bag or it had no bag at all or, and at some point because it's been rubbing against other pieces um, and that's what's caused that horrible finish that's on most of them so let's go straight in now the first sprue is a double sprue so meaning that there's two of them I'm only going to show you one because otherwise we'll be here forever um, so first up we've got some uh, rockets and drop tanks and uh, not a lot to show. There's a nice single piece rocket there. Uh, well I say single piece, it's got to have two more fins put on. And maybe a couple up here, I'm not sure. But uh, I, to be honest, I prefer the rockets when they're all already been moulded. Because I tend to not line them up properly half the time. And I... I've got to spend ages sorting it out. Um, yeah, I know they're just two bits that stick together, but I'm I'm a bit uh, particular over exactly how they go. Um, there's one that's okay. That's spot on. Um, yeah, and they've not left a seam line on either. Wow. So uh, yes, uh, very good. Um, not a lot to show you on them. They're just plain. There's very little detail on them. Uh, the odd panel line or ring, should I say. Uh, but that's that. Then we've got... Uh, have we got... This is the part with all the teeny-weeny pieces on. I mean, just look at how small some of them are. Finger for... Uh, They are tiny. Uh, I don't know what these are going to be used for. Some of these are obviously fins from rockets, such as these. Uh, along here, very different fins. Um, I don't know what these are. I've got 
vaguely got to think that there's something I'm not sure though um, again no detail on them to speak of so yeah no nothing I can show you on that so we'll put that one down as well then we've got uh, now I don't know these drop tanks these look like drop tanks and we've got the instrument panel there or one of them if there's more than one I don't know so let's uh, there we go so you can either have that or then we've got the version with uh, no raised detail but you get that photo etch on it as well um, and then we've got the beginnings of the seats is that I'm not certain um, not a lot else I can show you got some nice detail on these drop tanks so that's that and then we got this looks like the rear vertical the rudder section and I've got some nice detail on that apologies if the sounds a bit uh, I keep having to move away from the there we go Come on, there it is. Yeah, lovely detail work there. That's going to be nice to paint that. Uh, we've got the fuselage halves. And now we will expect some detail on here, if not a lot. Um, so I'm just trying to get my bearings. That's obviously the top. Um... Okay, so yeah, we've got mm, a little bit of panel lines, and I don't know whether they're rivets or not, so let's get in and uh, come on. There we got them them circular pieces there. I don't think they're panel line. I don't think they're rivets. I'm not sure. They could be, I suppose. They look a bit large, but uh, what uh, you know? What do I know? I don't uh, know anything about. Uh, planes or jets um, although saying that when I first started uh, doing modeling about two two and a half years ago I knew absolutely nothing about any of the subjects so I, I basically knew that these were fuselage halves and that's it that's all I knew and we've got some nice detail going on there didn't know about panel lines or panel line washes or oh, we've got some nice detail on that front um, I don't know where these belong but I'm just going to show you it just caught my eye as I was putting it down come on you know you want to there we go is it going to show us Yeah, there we go. I mean, there's some nice stuff going on there, but I uh, don't want to dwell too long. Nearly done. Uh, and we got some... Uh, I think these are... Uh, we're looking at internal stuff now. So, I uh, haven't seen any flash yet, which is good. Um, haven't felt anything sharp or any burring or anything like that. There we've got some... Uh, 
one of the fans uh the detail on that then we've got the uh looks like internal structures and these are the oh i can't remember now Yes, yeah, so anyway, I didn't know nothing about these or cars or anything really. And in the two years, I've uh, I've actually become a bit more knowledgeable in in these sort of areas now. So that now I'm starting to recognise um, parts, uh, and it's just purely from working with the models. So um, it's uh, a hobby that keeps on giving. Um, so we've got these. Uh, I think these are like fire fire doors, fire walls. Um, there we go. Uh, there's a nice internal structure piece there. And that, uh, that's that one. And we come on to the another small piece so we've got our nose cone here though so we've got our nose cone there uh, we've got a fan blade there finger for size uh, burner can and then we've got the wheels which are two piece so they're gonna need uh, the seam line removing I wish they'd do wheels as one piece. I really don't like doing seam lines on wheels or wheel tyres. Um, and then we've got these awful, horrible little tiny pieces. I mean, when you've got uh, sausages for fingers, I mean, look at that. <laughs> There's no way that's going to work. Even with a fine set of tweezers, uh, my fine, one of my finest sets is actually broke now. So... Um, So even with a fine set of tweezers of mine, you're looking at uh, quite a big difference. Um, there's nothing else really to show on there. The internal wheel structure, we've got the landing uh, front, uh, it's either the front or one of the side landing gears there. Uh, let me just bring that into shot for you. There we go. Just scoot along there so I don't miss anything out. There we go. And I think finally we've got uh, the wings. So we've got the some internal detail going on on the inside of the wings on upper and lower. Uh, we've got various flaps here and other sections that go to form the uh, control surfaces. So first of all, let's have a look at the internal area of the wing. There we've got, that would be the upper wing, I believe, yes. And this would be the lower, um, as you can see. And then we've got... Uh, Nice subtle panel lines, I'd say these are. They're not heavy. They're not. Uh, some people refer to them trench-like. They are subtle, and uh, I don't know. The, it, it's very nice. Uh, yeah, it's very. Um, they're very nice. The, the the plastics are nice, soft sort of matte um, finish. And then we've got some nice detailing on the wings, very nice detailing on the wings. And if done properly, um, will benefit from uh, a panel line wash. Um, yeah, that, uh, that will hold a wash very, very comfortably. And it will really show off all that detail. Um, same on the other side. Just trying to get it. Uh, there we go. 
try not to break these <laughs> so and that's that that is the uh mig 21r so that's my review on that i hope you enjoyed it just a couple of quick uh reminders don't forget, I've got a live uh, show, live stream every Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. That's 20 hundred hours for all you soldiers or military people out there. It runs for an hour and a half, roughly. And um, every Wednesday night, that is. That's GMT time. Um, so 20 hundred to 21.30 p.m. Uh, UK time. Um, and in it, we... Uh, there's, there's just me I say we it's just me um, and I will be building uh, the Bandai X-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars the moving uh, the moving edition um, I'm working my way through that um, so yeah don't forget to come along for that and, and join and you know pop in the chat uh I'm really trying to push this because it, uh, it's, it's, you know, I just want this to work. Um, also, there's a Facebook channel um, attached to all this as well. It's the same name as the um, as the YouTube channel. It's Sprue Surgeon. Um, if you just look up Sprue Surgeon, that will get you through to the Facebook page as well. Um, now there was something else there was something else just give me a second i've got a thing here there was the show there's something else um no i think that was it the show and the channel um okay yeah i think that was it so yeah the channel uh it's on facebook under the name sprue surgeon pop in have a look uh leave some comments um, take part uh, oh I'm also trying to start a hangout uh, now it I, my aim is to have it running daily and nightly in the future obviously at the moment with zero attendees that's not possible um, so I really need some people that are interested in spending uh, time with other modelers just building and chatting uh, friendly environment there's no um, no malice or anything like that going to be in there um, it's just for the enjoyment of, uh, of the mo modeling uh, you know and, and just try to uh, be friendly with everyone else so if you you know uh, as i said at the moment it's um it's you know i need to, i need people to get on board with it and let me know they're interested so that i can start putting hangouts up um i was putting hangouts up and just uh putting um posts on different sites but i'm not getting anywhere like that so i'm, I'm trying this tack uh, i'm going to try and uh ask people directly see if they're interested if you are interested send me a message let me know um and then if we get enough people we'll we'll have the inaugural uh hangout we'll uh, discuss what to call it um and uh we'll go from there so anyway thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this there's lots more in the pipeline and i'll see you all soon bye for now